Hi, my friend. It's Pat Sloan here, and it is September 1st. So happy September. So what I did to celebrate September is I went and got myself a one of these yummy-smelling candles. Do you guys do that? Do you love, like, I loved, like, citrusy ones in the summer, and this is caramel toffee. Uh, smells good enough to eat. So I'm going to have to burn that to just... Uh, feel the fall <laughs> although today it is overcast and raining that's <laughs> welcome to september okay so it is summer soiree and we are on block number nine and here is the block like i'm so excited about this one i have loved this block forever it's the checkerboard with then the little star points on the end and our topic for summer soiree is what are you going to eat at that party <laughs> <laughs> the yum yums, the yummy delights. Because at the party, I know it's supposed to be about the people and the and the you know friendship and the chatter. But uh, you know, I really like to know the food. And like, I'm a foodie, and I like to see what kind of food is there. Uh, and parties are a great time to try something different, to experiment with. Uh, whether you're eating it or making it for others or getting it for others, experiment with something a little bit different. Uh, the foods are not like sit down meals, you know, usually at a party you can get smaller, you know, things and try a bunch of stuff. So in the Whiskey in a Teacup book, there are lots and lots of recipes from Reese Witherspoon's family and herself. Lots of fun things. So I just wanted to highlight a few because this one, Kentucky Brown Bites. Has anybody, has anybody ever eaten these? Because I'm sure if you're in the South, you, it, maybe it's a staple, but it's like, I never even heard of these. But they sound really good and they're tiny, like you would have those at a party. And also like the, the, you know, you have to have dessert. So the pie, the derby pie. And another one I want to try because it starts with uh, Parker Rolls, whoops, is this, uh, these, these Easter, well, they should call them Easter Rolls, but they're like caramel and nuts and things. But I think they sound like a fall, a fall thing, even though that's for Easter. I think it could be really great for fall. Okay, let's take a look at how I went about picking my fabric for my block. Uh, because I did it uh, uh, very specifically and there could have been several combinations that would have worked. I do think that this block could be done really scrappy. And I think if you were doing a whole quilt of it, you could do, use your scraps because if you have that uh, sort of solid, but it doesn't have to be a white or a beige, it could be any color solid, all those uh, scraps will just sort of sparkle off of this block. But for my quilt, <laughs> For the summer soiree, I decided I wanted to control the colors, and I'm going to go with two basic colors, but not two fabrics. So let's take a look at some of the choices I had and why I picked what I did. So first of all, I pulled out the green and black because I just think this is really classy looking when it's together, the green and black. I would actually like to do a whole quilt of these. So I'm just gonna put them side by side so you get the checkerboard effect. Uh, so there would be the green and black. Now that is uh, just a whole quilt of this would just be amazing, so yummy. And then when I do the point, there's like four across. So of course there would be like another green like this. But then these two would be the star points and I would do maybe, you know, so two of the other green and blacks for the, the points up here. Okay, so let's look at another combo. That one's really nice. Like I wanna make every combo I'm showing you. Okay, this one also to me is super yummy. I'm really smitten with this blue, this sort of summer blue, and this peachy orange. It's not, you know, Halloween orange. It's it's more peach tone. So there is the, you see, it could do either blue, but I'm gonna go with these. Uh, so there would be another combination of the blue and orange. And, I, and again, I think this is, would be, this would work really well in the quilt. I think this one would be too bold. Uh, it would be a little, it would be a little bolder than I want to go. But I think this one would have been a really, really great option. But I didn't pick that one because I finally wanted to add the yellow. And I decided that the background will be, uh, for the block, will be the background fabric that I'm using. So yellow and red. This combo is 
it's, it's a classic. I think yellow and red is a classic combo. Uh, yellow is my first favorite color and red is my all time favorite color. So, you know, it's just super, super nice. Very mellow. It does have higher contrast. I like putting in this one that's a little bit more muted. Uh, that's that feels nice and also this one that has a little bit more green in it and then here it's companion from the the yellow which has the red flower so it's kind of like I don't know yin and yang I think they're they're really nice now the other thing will be picking uh, a sashing to go along with this because remember there'll be uh, some of this on the outside except for where the point is and then I will have uh, the sashing fabric next to that pull this down next to that will be you know the sashing around the blocks and the reason why I like the green let me just move these guys up I'm going to do it in this green because I'm looking at all of the borders that I have now I can't put it on the design wall today but all the borders I have are sort of this background kind of fabrics with a lot of print so I have three of those and then I've got this great medium tone with the red. And there's just kind of one in that, that color. So I'm going to need to do like another one like that. But that can also sort of lean towards the lights. It can be more like the lights. Then I have two of this peach. And then I have two of the green. So once I do this block here, the yellow and red with the green around it, then I'll have three green. I'll do another peach. And then do the rest in these kind of... Um, borders around it until the quilt is done. So that is the uh, the thought process I went through and I really love that blue and I mean I really love that you know I do I love that blue and peach a lot it was like it was like a juggle do I do the blue and peach or do I do the red and yellow but I wanted to bring a little bit of yellow in. To these outer points I have two sets of reds with the same you know, from the same fabric and two sets of yellows. Now I want to pair them up and the easiest thing is to do the same reds on on opposite sides like this because then it, it's just easy thinking wise. Plus, I don't want to put these two together because they are the same print, so I want to be sure they're not together. So I want to do the print red, the print red, and then this dash with here. Remember, you're going opposite sides, and then it will go red and red with the print with the floral. And there we go. I've got this part laid out. Then you have squares and rectangles to finish it up. That is the block are yummy delights and I just I, I might make this up in that peach fabric the peach and blue because oh, I don't know that's so cool that one would look really good in the quilt too so I'm not sure which way I'll go uh, one one thing I want to uh, tell you is that one of the quilters wrote me that uh, several of you have asked had asked at one point how much fabric was needed to do these the sashing part in all the same fabric which I did not plan as part of this project because I wanted you to do it scrappy but I went ahead and put it on the download page but I didn't transfer the number exactly correctly I said one yard you really need about a yard and a quarter if you're only doing the strips it's just a little bit short I'm so sorry I'm so sorry because it wasn't my intent to do that my intent was to do it scrappy so I didn't originally give you any number at all I didn't do it properly so I'm sorry all right I have a few other things I had a cute mail call and this is from who was it from Beth so Beth sent me a bunch of fun edges so this look like look at that look oh isn't that pretty it looks like water it's like coral like all blues and corals so i've got a few more to add to my collection so thank you thank you so much for thinking of me also my friend over uh kate at the confidence stitch she does custom swatch kits and i she sends me one every time and i show it to you because you can order these and you have to um order uh by i think it's September 7th. I'll put it up on the screen here for sure. The name, but then she custom cuts these and what you get in here, you can make one project. And so I'm going to show you the fabrics and then you can go and buy, if you love the fabrics and you want to make her bigger lap quilt, uh, she also has a discount code for you when you buy the club and you can just buy this one club. You don't have to, you know, this, this one custom uh, grouping. So here is the project. It is this really nice fall little table mat. 
and that's what the swatch kit will make or you can go and buy the kit of the same fabrics but more of them to make the lap quilt so let's take a look because i am i don't know i just love it she has such a great way with her fabrics and the colors that she puts together and she finds the most darling fabrics so here is here's kate she also has a YouTube channel, so she tells you what she's doing over there. Um, but there's the table mat, which is great for fall. It's uh, very like fall colors, but not like too, you know, too much brown, kind of with the berry colors, which I think is a really nice change. And then the bigger lap quilt. So these fabrics are so darn cute. Look at this tomato. Look, I love the tomato. And then she has some that read kind of tonal. Uh, there's some bees, super darling bees, the chevroni kind of kind of 60s, right? And the green leaves for fall and the honeycombs. I really love this brown. Look at the, oh, it's got a cool face in there. See the face? Yeah, and another brown and green. So she has really interesting fabrics, a little bit different than other places. So you want to go cruise her website with my link. There's a little bee on there with the green. So there's lovely greens in here. More bees. Oh, you know how I love bees. Tons of little bee fabrics. And here's some sort of mauve-y, um, sort of shady pur purple. And that just is gorgeous for fall with the pears, the golden pears. That's the same designer as the tomato. Then we've got some burgundy pieces. A bunch of the, oh, this is a strip. So she has, this is the border. Okay, so that's the border strip. So you get that. And then you get the, you can see on here, it has like these little strips in between the blocks and that's this beautiful brown. So, and then um, plus that, she tells you what all they are, all the fabrics are. So you have a whole list of what she puts in this custom little uh, swatch kit, which I think is just uh, a great value. Uh, and her fabrics are fun. So if you want to do something just a little bit different, you can do that and experiment with those fabrics and her project, which is just darling. I, I think I'm going to make this one up for me. <laughs> I really do. I really think I'm going to because it's so cute. I have just the right coffee table it can go on. All right. The last thing is... I want you to be able to sign up for the Virginia Quilt Museum's event in October, where I am hosting the 25th anniversary celebration for the museum. It is going to be so much fun. Uh, we, I've been interviewed uh, several of the directors and a group of the quilters, a couple of the quilters who were involved in doing the Love Quilt. And let me show you, here's a picture of the Love Quilt that had been exhibited at the museum. It is now at the Floyd Virginia Arts Center permanently installed. Uh, and I interviewed the people for this event. So I want you to get in on it. It's free uh, and it's the first Saturday in October. Links are down below in the description box. And when you're there, click that subscribe so let me know let me know tell me in the comments what is your favorite food to have at the summer soiree what would you your favorite thing to serve or your favorite thing you would like to eat all the links to download or at my website which you can get below so i love you Mwah. see you online